How do I become a better employee or maybe a better employer? How to parent? If you never take soundings, if you never evaluate, you won't know where you are. So as we continue in this story, they, they throw the anchors off of the back, right? The, the, the ship halts, and we read in verse 30. It says, in an attempt to escape from the ship, the sailors let, down, sorry, let the lifeboats down into the sea, pretending they were going to lower some anchors from the bow. So number two, um, don't abandon ship. Don't abandon ship. So the Bible says that the sailors decided that, you know what, we're out of here. We've been in a storm for 14 days, and they threw four anchors off the back to stop the boat. And typically, you put an anchors off the back, and you put an anchor off the bow so the boat doesn't swing around. And, and so they're like, you know, we're going to go and pretend. The Bible says they were pretending that they were going to let anchors down off of the bow, but instead they were letting the lifeboats down. And they're like, mm, we're getting out of here. Like, sorry, you know, this prisoner, you know, says that we're going to be okay, but we don't really know. Uh, we're, uh, we're, peace, we're out. And they start letting down the lifeboats into the water, and they're like, we're getting out of here. Like, we want to, we want to escape. And here's the thing, is we can't quit every time something gets hard. We can't quit our job just because our manager's being, you know, irrational and maybe being mean to you, maybe riding you harder than you would like. Whatever it is, we can't just quit. I'm not saying that there's never a time to change careers, and I'll talk about that later. But I think sometimes when things get hard, that our first tendency is to kind of quit and abandon ship. Like, you know, I, I, things are getting hard when it comes to, you know, my school, and so I'm just going to change majors. I'm going to go do something else. Um, we quit on our jobs. Hey, uh, it's, you know, I don't like it. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I, I'm just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit. Um, we quit on our marriages, relationships. Things get hard too often. We just quit and abandon ship. We want to escape. Just as those sailors were like, you know what, peace, we're, we're out. We, we, want to, we want to get out of here. We're going to lower the lifeboat down and we're going to take our chances and we want to get out of here. Too often the first sign of wind, rain, and storms in our life, we abandoned ship. We quit. We can't just attempt to escape the hard things in our life. We need to stay the course, and here's the thing, until God tells us otherwise. We stay the course. We keep going until God tells us otherwise. We learn, here's the thing, is we learn far more going through hard times than we do good. You think about what you've learned when life is great. Like... You're not worrying about where your next check is coming from. You have money in the bank. You have, you know, everything is, you know, your relationships are going well. Your friendships, everything's going great. You don't learn that much. But when it feels like all hell is breaking loose in your life and you're in the valley and the rains and the storms of life are coming, and, and man, you're just like, I'm not sure where my next paycheck's going to come from. I'm not sure I'm going to make rent. I'm, man, I, I got all these things, and, and you're literally going through some of the hardest times of your life. That's when you learn. That's when you grow. If you were to talk to any inventor or entrepreneur, started something from nothing, invented something, they will tell you they've learned far more from their failures then they did their success. They will be the first ones to admit it, first ones to tell you, hey, I learned far more from the hundred ways not to do it than from the one way I figured out how to do it. We learn when we go through something hard, but you can't learn if you quit. You can't learn if you abandon ship. Say, you know what, hey, it's too hard. It's getting hard. I want to get out of here. We don't, you don't learn if you don't go through it. So we need to stay the course until you know that you've heard from God. Don't abandon ship. Those sailors, they didn't trust Paul. He was a prisoner. So they decided that the best course of action for them to save their lives was to escape. Let's get in these lifeboats and, and let's take our chances. 
Sometimes when you abandon ship in areas of your life, it's because of a lack of trust in God. The Bible said that those sailors were pretending to let the anchors down. They went out to the bow to pretend to let the anchors down. You might have some pretenders in your life. Some people and relationships or friendships that pretending to be one thing but are really another. That's why it's important to evaluate your life and your friendships, your relationships, and what's going on. Be careful of the pretenders in your life. Those sailors, they, they were pretending to let anchors down, but really they were trying to jump ship. The sailors let the lifeboats down because they wanted to quit and wanted to be done and get out. But I want to encourage you today that even if you're going through something, something hard, stay the course. Stay, keep going. Stay at that job. Stay in that relationship. Stay in that friendship. Unless you know that God has 100% spoken to you.